Hello. All right, so we are on a mission this week and our mission is to hit 100,000 steps by Saturday at midnight. Well, by Saturday at 11.59, by the end of the week. Now, we're not off to a great start. I'm gonna get to that in a second. We are at a whopping 102 steps and it's 115. Whoops. So the point of this video isn't only just to show you like how vitally important it is for your long-term health to get in more movement during your day. I'm also gonna give you a different tactic every single day that could help you get in more steps. So before we get into those different tactics, I wanna quickly explain why it is so important for your long-term health to be getting in more movement. So I know that I have talked about this in so many videos before, but studies show that people who get at least 7,500 steps a day exponentially decrease their risk of long-term health issues. Now, obviously a lot of us hear about like the 10,000 steps a day as being the ultimate goal. And that number is actually not based in science at all. I think it was in the 1960s, there was basically a pedometer that used 10,000 as kind of a marketing ploy. Fitness marketing has been kind of messy for a long time. <laughs> really that 10,000 is just like a nice round number. I do personally use that as my goal. That does not mean that you need to be hitting 10,000 steps a day, but I am going to implore you to find ways to get in on average 7,500 steps a day. Not happy that I'm talking. And she's back down, okay. So that's the number one reason why I get so adamant about people hitting whatever their step goal is or whatever their movement goal is. Now, obviously this is way easier said than done because in general, we live in a very sedentary society. Most people either work in offices or now work from home. We're typically attached to a desk or a computer or a phone for most of the day. So finding ways to actually get in this extra movement can be a little difficult. So I'm gonna show you each day the things that I do to ensure that I am getting in this movement. What do you think, Zoe? Yeah? She wants nothing to do with me. So before I bring you along for that, we do have to thank the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members across 150 countries who come together to find inspiration and take the next step in their creative journey. And Skillshare is really a place to get inspired, learn new skills, and then put them to work in actionable ways. Personally, I've been trying to take a course or two every month, and this month I'm taking a graphic design basics course with Ellen Lepton. Since I manage all of my social media, website design, and business promotion, I'm always looking for ways to upgrade my skills. Although I use Skillshare for more like digital marketing and filming courses, they do have hundreds of other topics ranging from music to writing to even knitting. So no matter what your interests are, there's definitely something on the platform for you. Now, as a thank you, the first 1,000 people to click on my link down below will get a free one month trial to Skillshare. If you end up snagging one of the memberships, I would love to hear what course you're taking down below. So thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, a community where we all love learning. So let's go back and learn if I hit all those steps. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff done. I got like the most stressful of my admin tasks done for the day. I do have a video to edit, but I actually just realized that because tomorrow is like the observe day for Juneteenth, a lot of my clients are off and either didn't book or booked like later in the afternoon. So I have the entire morning to get that done. So I'm not gonna stress myself out about it. I would rather focus on getting in a little bit of movement to like make myself feel better. So we're gonna talk about the first tactic that I have and that is to go on a walk. Or as people on the internet now are calling them hot girl walks. Did no one ever go on a walk as a kid? So guys, going on a walk is one of the simplest ways to just get in more steps. Now, I realize that I live in a city, so this is a very easy task for me because I live in a very walkable area. This might not be the case for people. So an alternative to this might be to invest in something like a walking pad or a treadmill if you have the space for it. I know that this might seem really silly as an investment, like I could just go outside and walk, why would I buy something inside and walk on it. Well, if you can't walk outside or you're not actually going to, this is like the second best option. She's all curled up right there. So Kevin is leaving at four for a comedy show. I'm gonna walk him to the subway and then just like continue to walk around a little bit. Maybe listen to a podcast or some music or honestly, sometimes it's just nice to walk around without like any external stimulus and just be alone with your thoughts. We have about 30 minutes. I'm gonna check my email one more time and then dive back into my book and then I'll take you on our walk. Oh, and our step count. We are up to 712 steps. We're not doing great. <laughs> Thank you. 
used to get my Hello from our walk. So I dropped Kevin off at the subway and honestly I was like, I don't feel like walking. I don't want to be out here. And I just kind of like pushed myself to walk for 10 minutes. But I started walking for 10 minutes and then I was like, this is great. So I'm actually, I'm walking over to the East River just because I'm like on a roll now. It's just so nice to walk around with like, we're not, I'm not listening to anything. I'm not really thinking about anything. I'm just taking in my surroundings and it's really nice. I think that the point I'm trying to make here is that sometimes these things are hurdles, right? And we don't have the motivation to do them. But once you take action, most of the time you'll be motivated. And you know what? If I took action and I hit 10 minutes and I was like, yeah, I'm over this, I would have gone home. So anyway, we're going to end it here for today because I'm just going to be walking. I just have some more busy work to do once I get home, but I will update you tomorrow on our step count. Afternoon. So lots of admin to get done this morning. I expected one of my in-person clients to book and that would have made me have to go into the city and she did not. So it's an even lower step day than I thought it was going to be, but we're going to make that up. Some of what we're doing right now is my second tactic, which is cleaning. You would be surprised even if you're just doing like a tidy up of your space, how many steps you can garner just by cleaning it up. So with that little tidy that I just did, we got a thousand steps in. Nothing to scoff at. So I'm going to continue to take you around for my day. I have a client coming here in just about 35 minutes. But after that, Kevin and I have to drop off some laundry. I might extend that for a nice little walk. We gotta film a video. We gotta prep for my dance cardio class tonight. So let's keep on moving. Okay, coming in with tactic number three on day two. You can run an errand. So I had to go to the UPS store. So we're doing that. And we dropped off laundry and then we're gonna go for a little extra walk. Okay, I kind of messed up because I not only forgot my phone, which had the QR code to return this webcam, but I also forgot my wallet. Like I left the house with literally nothing. So I didn't have my ID to get my package. And then the guy scolded me and I was like, oh, I'll just come back tomorrow. And then he kept scolding me, but then he gave me my package. So that just means that we get in another little errand walk, another tactic number three, as we'll call it, on another day. But I got Jordan's science book. If you don't follow Jordan, definitely do so. He has some great YouTube videos, but he's more active now on Instagram. He's an absolute wealth of knowledge. And also I get the comments sometimes that I look like his younger sister. So here's what's in the game plan. We are at 5,234 steps. We'll just like add that to the little counter down here. I'm starving. <laughs> so we're gonna make a quick little lunch and then I'm gonna run through my entire cardio class tonight, which will probably get me another 2,000 steps just during that. Let's eat. We'll eat it. <laughs> this cat is obsessed with tuna. So watch what happens. <laughs> How does she know? Also, if someone yells at me for using a paper plate again, you're getting blocked from my channel. <laughs> Okay, I didn't do the whole class because I don't want to like die later, but I got another thousand steps in there, so that's good. I know that you're probably like, Justina, you're really like slacking for trying to get 100,000 steps in by the end of the week. This is all part of the plan. This is all part of me mapping out my week. I have a really, really big like safeguard on Saturday. You'll see when we get there. That is pretty much gonna ensure that I hit my goals. So I'm not super stressed about it. I'm hoping to end the day hitting my normal 10,000. But let's do some admin.
class is over, I'm like, can't see, split my eyeballs. All right, snap count, 10,751. So we're over our goal, which is fantastic. So rest of the night, I gotta edit this class. I kind of have to edit a YouTube video. I gotta take a shower. Basically what I'm trying to say is that I'm gonna be pretty sedentary for the rest of the night. Tomorrow is definitely going to be a heavier movement day. We'll talk about that tomorrow. I just contemplated my life for the last 10 seconds. Okay, bye. Happy Tuesday. So, what's our step count at? Got about a thousand more steps. So we taught class this morning. I have a nutrition client in 30 minutes, but I'm actually teaching a dance class tomorrow night and I have to do a little prep for it. So we're gonna take the next 30 minutes or so and knock that out right now. All right, we are on our way to our workout class. Same one that I've been taking at the studio since January. Um, I did just realize I forgot my water, which sucks. But anyway, let's chat. Okay, so my next tactic, tactic number four, I think we're on, is to take a class, like a workout class. And here's the thing. I know that people are gonna be like, that's not your meat, that's your eat. But that's like your exercise activity. We don't need to overcomplicate it. I get questions all the time, especially from my clients who run, and they're like, well, does this count as my exercise or does this count as my meat? Is this just a general movement? More movement is just better. Now, obviously the class that I'm taking is more strength-based than like cardio-based or, you know, even like getting in a lot of steps, but I'm walking there, which is part of the benefit. I know not everybody has that option. Maybe if you're driving, you park farther away. Maybe you park at the back of the parking lot. Maybe you take the stairs instead of the elevator if it's not on the first floor. There's all these little things to increase your need little by little during the day. So we're gonna take this class. What are we at stepwise? Just about 3,000. I actually haven't taken this class in two weeks because I was away last week. And then the week prior, it just didn't fit my schedule. So I am excited, but scared. It's like, this one's like a slow burn. You're like, oh, this is, this is great. And then by the end of class, you're like, what the f just happened? Okay, I'm scaring the neighbors. We gotta go. Workout done. We are at 5,400 steps. So I know that I've said this before. I don't like taking you guys into a workout, like if it's a group class, because I just think it's like really rude. But essentially in class, we worked on a lot of hamstring activation. So we did hamstring curls at like a cable machine. We did some dumbbell swing. And we did a lot of like firing of the abductors, the inner thighs too. So a lot of it, it's like a very corrective based class based off of what your compensations are. Now I also look away if you get grossed out by things. I got like this blood blister in the same spot as before. Last time this happened, this happened in my like week of workouts video, but it was doing the same thing, like dumbbell swings and like a little hot and it burst in class and I was like, I'm bleeding. Anyway, we're gonna clean up the kitchen. We're gonna make a smoothie. I have, so I have all of these old rubber flooring mats from when I redid my studio. I tried to throw them out like two weeks ago, but they don't fit in trash bags. So I have to like cut them down with a box cutter and I just haven't had the energy or motivation to do that. So we have to do that today. We have to prep the rest of the trash. We have to pick up the laundry. We're taking a dance class tonight. We're hoping we get like 15 to 18,000 steps in. I have a lot of work to do. Staring out the window, reaching for a North Star, waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms, dancing to the limbo, stuck here in the middle. You tell me that it's simple, but I could paint a thousand different pictures of what is wrong. Good morning. It's loud up here. Okay, let's chat. Kind of like 
cool and chilly and it rained overnight. So today is feeling like a very gloomy day. What's our step count? Add 200 steps to the, to the counter. I took an easy morning, got up at eight, had my coffee. I just edited a little video. I do have to teach a bar class at 12.30, so in about two hours. After that, we're gonna pull from some of my old tactics. We are gonna go do some errands, walking around instead of driving. I also don't drive. Instead of Ubering. Beforehand, I gotta put away some laundry so that'll get some steps in. I'll say that's tactic number two, cleaning your space. And then I, I'm gonna share with you our next tactic after we do our bar class. I'm starving, I forgot to eat, so we're gonna make some breakfast. I'm so confused. Why did I get two things of cat food? All right, everybody, it's time to talk about the game plan. I've been watching Ryan Trahan's Penny Across America thing every day, so that's what that was. Here's what we're doing. I have not only this big bag, but also this box full of stuff, old clothes that I am selling on ThreadUp. We are gonna bring these to the post office. I don't have a car, so this is gonna take two trips. I also have to go back to the UPS store and I will bring my ID this time because that man yelled at me. I am going to do all of this and then walk around until I hit 10,000 steps. That's what we're doing. It's nice and cool outside. I'll get a podcast going. That's the plan, so let's go. Look at that badonk. Zoe, bro, you lift? Cool. Just walked in the door. How is this comfortable, Zoe? How is this comfy? All right, let's go check on the box. If it fits, it sits. Somehow, this has actually made it harder to carry. <sighs> Are you a bodega cat? Do you wanna go inside? Oh, wow, thank you. Head scratchies. Yeah, all right. I don't know if you belong in there, so I'm gonna leave you right here. We're home. We're gonna do a walking workout. So that's the next tactic that I have for you, number five, and we're gonna do it with my girl, Kira Pro. She actually put out one about a month ago that's to the Harry Styles new album, and I actually just taught a Harry Styles bar class today featuring his new album, so I was like, this is meant to be. So we're gonna put it on. We're going to disturb the queen. Let's do it. Step count, 10,325. That was so fun. Just like shout out to Kira. Her walking workouts are like a freaking plus. They're like stylistically so smart. They're so easy to follow. Her energy is so great. I just love them. All right, it's about 4.45. I'm gonna leave here at six just to be safe. So I actually kind of need to start getting ready. Okay. <laughs> I have shorts on. Good morning. All of the things are sore. Let's talk about the game plan for today. I don't have much in, in terms of work today, but I do need to batch film some content for like Instagram and TikTok and then a YouTube video. The plan for getting in some movement today is, I don't remember what tactic this was, but I'm just gonna go on a long ass walk. And my goal today is to hit 10,000 steps. I think I'm gonna take you to the park. It's a really nice path that I like to take over there. And then tonight I'm just teaching my stretch class and I have personal training clients. I do wanna say on any other week, like a week where I'm not trying to hit this lofty goal, today would be a rest day, 100%. But 
here we are. Anyway, we have to put a face on and start to film, period. Let's go. Work smarter, not harder, right? 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 Perfect date starts in a small cafe There's hearts everywhere cause it's Valentine's Day We order up waffles to share the whole plate Sit by the window and start to debate There's nobody else I'd rather spend my every day with all right, we're sitting right by the water in Stockley Sculpture Park. I was actually gonna go to Astoria Park, which is more north, but I started walk, basically I started like walking aimlessly, different way I usually do. And when you start to get like toward the East River, things aren't really directly like a grid anymore. And I just started like swerving, but I was just closer to Socrates Sculpture Park. So I came here instead. So as I was walking, I was just kind of thinking about the privilege in what I'm doing. It's a Thursday. And I literally don't technically have to show up and be on until 6 p.m. when I meet with my first client of the day. And then I teach a quick class on Zoom and then I'm done at 8. I think that even though like, yeah, I work really hard and I've earned this right to like take my days and take my time for myself. This girl keeps like walking directly toward me and then I stop filming and then she starts to walk away. And then I start filming again and then she starts to walk away. And I'm like, you should be doing the opposite when you see me filming walk away. Anyway, it's a public park. I shouldn't complain. And I also want to acknowledge the privilege that I have. Yes, I've worked hard to be where I'm at, but like it, I'm still in a very privileged, privileged place. Like I come from middle class. I'm a white, able-bodied, cis female, and that holds a lot of privilege and has helped me in addition to how hard I work, get me get to this place. So I just want to acknowledge that because I think it's important to note that even though I'm showing you all of these different ways that you can get in more steps during your day for your long-term health, it's going to be a lot easier for me than a lot of other people because I don't work a desk job and I have a lot more freedom in my schedule. So I just want to acknowledge that so you don't think that I'm sitting here being like, this is so easy. It's not. And I recognize that. So I guess we're going to start to go back. I might actually stop in this little cafe that I love and it's actually underneath my dream building. Let me show it to you. Okay, I'll try and get closer, but this is called the Piano Factory. It is a gorgeous building, but we're going to go to that little cafe down there and see what they have. <sighs> we did it. 5,886 steps. You know what I've been through It feels like there's no use But I won't be happy too Maybe 2020 is the year I bloom For crying out loud, fuck you I'm telling you if it's true No time to be confused Take a trip out to Rome and not my room It's much later than it should be with a catch up. Hold on, let's go in here. I was like utterly destroyed just after this whole week. It's just been, it's been a stressful week. It's been a lot of movement this week, a lot of new movement this week that I haven't done in a bit. So here we are. I was supposed to go take a class at 12 today. My hamstrings are still just so sore from Tuesday. I think that's be 
a big reason for that is we just did such high volume in that class on Tuesday, which I needed and it was great, but I also did not work out strength wise the week before. So I decided today is just more of an active rest. Also like tomorrow I'm teaching, I'm taking a class, walking a lot, you'll see what we're doing. And then Sunday I'm gonna be dancing the whole day. So I need to take a little bit more of an active rest day today. Our step count is at 1500, so we'll add that to the tally. We're doing pretty well. Really, if you break this down, I just have to get 15,000 steps today and tomorrow. I don't think that math is right, but it's fine. So I will actually like take you through the rest of my day now. Life right now is a movie. Ah, yeah. Wish the soundtrack was groovy. Too bad. I'm frustrated. I'm moody. Ah, yeah. Just need a happy ever after. Guess this was kind of fun when it all started going down. Walking around in PJs, nap on the couch. Watching TV all day and spending time inside the house. Hello. Okay. Here is the game plan. We are currently sitting just under 7,000 steps for the day, which puts our weekly total just shy of 80,000. 80, I know for a fact that tomorrow I am going to get in 20,000 more steps, unless something goes horribly, horribly wrong. So we're not gonna stress about like getting any more in today. I'm gonna keep wearing my Fitbit, but I need to rest my body because even though I'm doing a challenge, I need to make sure that I can function tomorrow and the next day and then the whole next week to like work. Um, so we're gonna kind of sign off here, get a good night's rest and I will see you all tomorrow. Happy Saturday. All right, so here's the game plan for today. And this is how we're gonna ensure that I get, oh, let's update our step counter. Okay, total right now, we are at 81,037 steps. So we don't even need 20,000 steps today. That is, well, it's not nothing, but <laughs> it is 100% doable. So we are going to teach a 45 minute strength class. We are then going into Manhattan, we are taking a grit boxing class, and then we are walking slash taking the ferry home slash walking more. Now, if you're like, Justina, that sounds really familiar, like I've seen it before, you probably have. Wasn't it smart of me to habit stack those two videos on top of each other? Work smarter, not harder, right? I actually, in hindsight, it became very confusing in editing. Um, it's fine. Most of you have probably already seen that specific video, so I'm not gonna just like replay that footage here. We'll do like a quick little summary. If you wanna watch that whole video, watch it after this. But I will meet you guys back much later today. <laughs> Okay, we are back. There's good and bad news. The good news is we're caught up back in real time. We know everything that happened now, right? The bad news is that we have not hit 100,000 steps quite yet. Our running tally at the moment is 14,114. The biggest mistake I made, uh, we're gonna get those last steps. Don't, uh, we have all the tactics, don't get me wrong. But the biggest mistake that I made was not trying to get a lot at the beginning of the week and I was kind of relying on today. And that is a mistake that I tell all of my clients to stay away from. Whether it's trying to get in vegetables, whether it's trying to get in your protein, whether it's trying to get in your steps, your movement. Try to front load it if you can because by the end of the week, this happens. So this is a good lesson for all of us. I was way too confident. You know what, we gotta run to the bodega because we need more toilet paper. I gotta practice for my dance thing tomorrow. Maybe we'll do another walking workout with Kira. We love that. That's gonna get our, our happiness up too. But in the meantime, Kevin actually needs this camera to go do comedy tonight. So we're gonna, we're gonna get like a wider lens. We're gonna get like a little upgrade for the rest of the video. There's children screaming, we gotta go. <laughs> We're going on a walk because I feel like parents in Hocus Pocus where they're like, dance, dance, till you die. We're going on a walk. Let's talk. I think there are a few really good lessons that we can learn from this video. Number one, moving more is just important. It is vital for your long-term health. Now, that being said, do you need to move this much? Probably not. <laughs> the only reason that I made this like a little challenge was so that people would click on the video and understand how important moving more is. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm done. <laughs> 
<sighs> this was fun. This is probably a very long video, so thank you for sticking around to this point. I'm going to take the best shower of my entire life, but I'm very grateful for all of you for sticking around. So any questions, leave them down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. I can't even talk anymore. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.